What do you say, everybody? It's time for your favorite show and ours, Beer with Mick and Brickin. What's up? Hey, look, we got a cool beer for you today. This is our after run during quarantine beer review show. It's kind of turned into more than that, though. And you know, as we roll on, yeah, but we've all we've continued the running. I mean, mm -hmm. the, I mean, we are we are fitness models at heart. Yeah, guys. right. So, I mean, it, the key to this is running. The key, you know, obviously, and drinking a beer. So, you know, anything that gives a, gives you that care, gets you out there, gets you getting some exercise, keeping COVID away, losing that gut. Finding that groundhog, that's what we're all about. Losing that gut, finding that groundhog. <laughs> hey, look, as <laughs> as we've rolled on with this, it's been a lot of fun to try different beers, different styles, and kind of grade those, and that's what we're going to do oh, today. Yeah. And this is a beer that I've discovered here locally that I like a lot. It's a pineapple habanero hop dang from Jekyll Brewing Company in Alpharetta, Georgia. Take a look at that. Hop dang tropical sizzle. I think you're going to find that this beer is is going to hit you with something. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I, 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 What's it say? Maybe some spice? Yeah, What? tell me about this beer. So we wanted to give our IPA something new, so we tapped refreshing pineapple and spicy habanero for the bill. The hops and pineapple mesh together smoothly, then just a touch of heat from the peppers for something truly special. All right, well, let's find out. What are we talking, alcohol? Uh, the alcohol content is 6.7%. So, I mean, look, this is exactly what I'm going for in terms, this is the kind of the gravity that I love in an IPA. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm really guessing that we're gonna, we're gonna be hit with something uh, a little bit spicy. All right, well, first off, pour, picturesque from my- They're all picturesque from you. Yep, and lately, they? lately I've been on a run. Oh, wow. uh, Terrapin Brewing Company, uh, beer pint glass, which is another Georgia company, and a Georgia beer, which is really good. But yeah, I, li I like this can art. It's pretty cool. Um, it's got the pineapple on there, and there's the logo. All right, let's let's try this out. And when, when you get when you're ready, whoa! Not having a not ha not having a good day with the pour. Right? I I guess not. All right, well, let's give her a go. Well, look at that! A lot of head over there. I give him a six on that pour, 5.5. You can smell the habanero. You can smell the pepper. When you smell it, you got a little on your chin. <laughs> and you can taste the pepper. You can taste the pineapple, but you can definitely taste the pepper. This has, this beer karate kicks your taste buds. It karate kicks them. It is very interesting. I, I expected the habanero to last a little bit longer. Hold on. Just hold your foot. I'll edit this out, I guess. I don't know. Look, I expected the habanero to last a little bit longer. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't hit me as hard as I thought it was going to hit me. Um, I, I, there's a lot of flavor in this beer. Um, it is definitely something that's memorable. Definitely something I like. Yeah, I like this too. There's a gas station down in um, Gulf Shores that that sells these and and singles. You know, so I'll grab a couple on the way to the beach. And and I think this is a fantastic beer. I, I haven't tried a lot from Jekyll Brewing. But after tasting this beer, I want to. It makes me want to try more of their stuff because I'm a bit. I like pepper. I like hot stuff, and and this beer brings a lot to the table. This is a really good beer. Look, I mean, this is definitely. Hold on, hold on. 